What's up everyone? This is Ken with Mantovani Racing. Uh, in my last video, I mentioned that I was gonna do a walk around video of my Intec trailer that I recently got. Um, just to go ahead and give you a little uh, backstory and backdrop of why this came to fruition is because uh, probably about a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, I went ahead and uh, we went to Indianapolis and we were bringing the Miatas and it's a two-day race for a champ car and we ended up wrecking on the first day and if we had a second car we could have raced the second 10-hour race on the next day so that prompted me to go ahead and uh, have the idea of looking for a stacker to start bringing two cars so I first actually bought uh, my buddy at Horsepower Hot Shots you can check out his channel uh, he went ahead and picked up a bumper pull stacker for me at, in Texas and hauled it back and I actually used that stacker to go to this year's uh, um, Coda race and uh, after that uh, race we uh, decided that it was time to go ahead and uh, get a proper trailer. Uh, the bumper pull is great uh, but obviously goosenecks much better and the bumper pull was just a you know a uh, a rough used one that I got uh, just to go ahead and test out and sample how this is all gonna work out so uh, that spawned into this so uh, let's start doing that walk around uh, I'll go ahead and flip the camera around and we'll uh, show you all about it start off with it's 40 feet from tip to stern uh, I went ahead and added the uh, eco fins in the back uh, I did the full length gate in the back that's so that uh, you have a little bit more of approach angle because I did not do a dovetail in the back here you can see how the doors up a little higher normally if you did a dovetail that would come all the way down to the bottom there of that uh, of that trim panel you see I did a little uh, uh, the casters roller casters in case you come into something shallow um, I did some loading lights on the side. Those windows up there go into a little bit of living quarters. Down underneath here, inside there is the propane tanks for the water heater. Propane tanks for the water heater and the refrigerator. And then Here's just storage, the batteries, hydraulic tank for the one-legged lift here, shore power plug-in. Over here on the other side is my generator box with the generator. It's got a 7,000 watt. Um, I actually did not order it with the generator inside of it. I actually put the generator in it myself because I happen to have had one, but I rigged it up so that it had all the provisions. There's the dump valve and uh, the toilet tank. And uh, here's a flush for the tanks, uh, for the black water tank. And then there's the exhaust for the generator. Also, after the fact, I installed an onboard fuel tank. Now that was a bit of a mistake to not have just done it through Intec because it was actually cheaper. And I thought, well, I could do it better and save some money. Well, I didn't save any money. I got something a little bit better because I got a 55 gallon tank instead of, I think it's like a 220s or, I think it was like 40 gallons total uh, as they were able to do inside of it. So I got like 55 gallon tank, all custom made with the neck inside of it. And of course that plumbed into the generator. There's my city water connection. But uh, let's go back see the meat and potatoes of it. Let's go inside and check it out. So I figured I'd do the video today because the trailer is kind of empty, but uh, you can see here's a race car Corvette up top C5. But uh, down below, obviously you can put another race car. Um, 
whether it's the Miata or another Corvette. But uh, I did some loading lights on the side. You can see how they finish off the bottom of the lift really nice. Uh, Intec does. It's an all aluminum, all aluminum lift. I think it's 4,000 pounds. Yeah, 4,000 pound lift capacity. I did uh, little rollers on it. It's on front and back because here in the floor, you can see here's a compartment. Got a wench inside there. The other compartment is the hydraulics for the lift. So. But uh, so she's kind of rigged up obviously for for champ car racing. Oh, I put some cabinets back here too. In the very back. Shallow, just enough to kind of put my oils and stuff like that inside there. But uh, um, but here's the ramps that they made for the back that connect right there so the car can load. But you can see the Corvette is just barely at the roof. Now this is 10 foot high and a couple of inches. But uh, I had to do 10 feet um, because for one, I didn't want to be 13 and a half feet. I didn't want to be 13 feet just in the box because I have air conditioners on top. So with the air conditioner sticking up, you, you can only do 10 feet inside. So you're 13, six overall uh, from the top of that air conditioner to the ground. So the inside, I only, I only yield about 10, 10 and a half inside here so uh like i said i'm rigged up for for champ car so uh i've got my uh broom in the pan and <clears throat> got my coat rack for uh for holding the suits in the pits got my canopy set up a big one and then a smaller one a 10 by 10 and then i think this one's a 13 by 20. pail of absorber but here's the other sweet part about it is that I got a microwave, freezer, and a refrigerator. Got a sink here. I've got an AC control right there that controls both air conditioners. I've got two of them, one up in the front bunk. And then several cabinets here, obviously, for whatever you need to put inside of them. And then I had this done afterwards. See that shelf up there? The guys who made the fuel tank for me, uh, an aluminum fabrication shop inside of uh, Stewart, Florida, or Palm City, I should say. He, he made up that, that shelf for me to be able to put a bunch of other boxes and stuff up there. And then he did the same thing for this one over here. And then I put up a tire rack. Come back a little bit to kind of see the whole layout. And then my good friends at Harbor Freight found that cabinet for the wall. And then I did the toolbox down here. Um, I didn't order a toolbox with the trailer just because for one, it was thousands of dollars extra. And, uh, and this way I can pick what I wanted and just set it up how I wanted. And I actually bought two, no, three different toolboxes and sized it up to see how it fit there. And then I went ahead and just anchored it to the wall. They're still on the rollers, but I put this little folding hinge so that if I wanted to actually remove it, those are rib nuts that I screwed the quarter twenties into so that I can uh, remove the toolbox and fold the flap back and take the toolbox out of it, out of the trailer if I wanted to and put it in the pits. And then here's uh, my jack. So uh, put a little side vents hip here in the front. There's one all the way in the back there. So venting air in and then back out while you're driving. That's nice. And then, oh yeah, full bathroom. So when you're in the pits and you feel like the pits, there you go. Here's your uh, sink inside here and full shower here. I actually haven't used the shower or taken a shower even though I got shampoo in there. Because so far, the races that we've used this at, you're not allowed to stay at the track. Uh, and here's some cabinets, so we've gotten hotel rooms. But it's been nice. We've used that a few times. 
and now inside the steps here um, tried to get drawers in those storage drawers but uh, we didn't have room because that one compartment right there actually has the water heater I got a, a extra large water heater behind there and then up here in the bunk area it's got its own AC put some cabinets some windows shades and then I actually ordered this with it just it would have carpet upside here I actually ordered it empty and I got these bench which folds over and down basically into a bed and the same thing happens with fold this back over same thing happens with those you take the table take the table out actually my idea was fold the table up but when it got here I was a few inches too long on the table and I can't fold it up against the ceiling so you just remove the table and then fold these jackknives over and that turns into one full complete bed there so I actually have two beds and then I did a plug with some USB ports here and then on the wall over here I haven't installed it yet but I've got a plug for cable and then my power cord so a TV will basically go right there and then I did LED lighting all throughout and actually these are on a dimmer which is nice so that you can be up here sleeping and you can dim the lights and still watch some TV if you had to so same thing under here I did some lights with some dimmers that way you can uh, leave maybe this light on so if you're in here at night sleeping you had some type of light still going I installed this underneath here for the spoons and forks and such uh, but in any case I think that's all the details that uh, I've got here up there inside the vent there's actually a automatic here it says uh, right here vent open and fan on so I can vent the trailer so I leave the vent open and the fan running so that I can keep the heat out of the trailer I just leave that on all the time when I'm not uh, when I just have the trailer parked so oh and then I did uh, the airline tracks down here I ran them all the way forward to back so I have all multiple points to be able to anchor the car down I did them as far apart as possible so that the tires do not sit on top of them because a lot of times I might load the car hot after the last race there's nothing to do to the car it just loaded up and your slicks might still be hot and then they they'll kind of conform to those so I did those as wide as possible and then I had the, also the aluminum fabricators weld and stitch uh, the aluminum tracks in the center of the lift uh, I did that because AT, uh, gosh, um, Intech uh, went ahead and only offered uh, this airline track on top of the deck. And again, same concept, I did not want to have the tires sitting on top of those and conforming to it. So I think that's about it. That's all I've got here. And then I actually ordered it without a step originally, so I can put my own step on. Now, a lot of the things I didn't order is not necessarily because ATC, because uh, Intech. I keep saying ATC because I'm thinking about the very front of the trailer. Uh, the I used to have an ATC trailer, and that's where I got the, the couches for in the front, is from the manufacturer that made those, which is called Mastercraft. So uh, so I keep, uh, keep saying that because I keep thinking about where I got those from. But, uh, but Intech offers a lot of these things. They offer the uh, couch and they go ahead and offer the step and they offer anything else you pretty much want on it. It's just that there were several things that I just didn't like about them, like the table. Uh, they, they offer like a pedestal table and they didn't offer like that bench set up. So, and that folds into a couch and then uh, so those are just the ideas that I got from owning my other trailer, which was an ATC, the, their ATC toy hauler, um, which is a pretty neat trailer. I'll flash up a picture of that too. But, uh, but in any case, uh, there she is. Um, let's see if I can zoom in right there. Yeah, there we go. And I got it silver, of course, to match the Freightliner. And then it costs 
Of course, I also went cheap too. The original wheels and tires on the trailer were just steel wheels. Then uh, I was able to order these nice eight lug aluminum ones for much cheaper than I was able to, a couple thousand cheaper than I was able to get them for, our, for from uh, Intech. Uh, but not to say you can't get aluminum wheels from them also. So uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that walk around and uh, Come check me back out for the walk around that I'm gonna do on the Freightliner, probably a little bit later. Just figured I had some time today while we're getting ready to low up to go to the track and test uh, the Miata. I just finished building a splitter for that, put a new one on there because we wrecked the splitter at, uh, what was the last race, uh, Palm Beach. So I had to build a new one for that. But uh, anyways, click subscribe and uh, check us back later for the next one.